Good morning, everyone. I'm a Professor Zhu Xiangyu from Shandong University. I'm so happy today to discuss system physiology with all of you today. What I teach is a chapter of neural physiology. The human nervous system is composed of the brain, spinal cord, and the nerves they emit. Among them, the brain and spinal cord are the central part of the nervous system and constitute the central nervous system. It plays a leading role in the body's function regulation system, directly or indirectly making the body's various functional activities into the whole to cope with changes in the internal and external environment so that the body can survive. From the functional point of view, the nervous system can be divided into three links, namely the incoming, the center, and the afferent. The basic unit of the structure and function of the nervous system is the urine. Its function is to generate excitement by receiving stimuli and to conduct excitement. Neurons contain the cell bodies and the protrudents. The cell bodies are mainly concentrated in the gray matter of the brain and spinal cord. In the brain and spinal cord, where the cell bodies are dense, the color is dark and green, called gray matter. In the gray matter, neuron cell bodies with the same function are gathered together regulating a certain corresponding physiological functions of human body. This part of the structure is called nerve center. The part where nerve fibers gathered in the brain and spinal cord is bright and white, called white matter. Now we'll give the lessons of basic functions of neurons it can feel wider stimuli inside and outside the body and cause the excitement or inhibition. Analysis of excitement or inhibition from different sources. Send commands to the effector while the efferent nerve. Convert information from other parts of the CNS into homony information. The characteristics of clay cells. There are protrudents, but there are no densities and accents. No synapses are format. No action potentials can be generated. The function of accents. Generate and transmit action potentials. The function classifications of neurons is divided into three links. The firstly, sensory neurons, carried impulse from the sensory receptors. Motor neurons, carried impulse from the central nervous system. The three is inter neurons, conducted sensory and motor neurons. Now we will teach you some characteristics of nerve fiber conduction. The first one is physiological integrity. The second is insolution. The three is bidirectionality. The fourth is relatively fitted free. The speed of nerve fiber conduction has a close relationship with diameter million shares, sickness of million shares and temperature. The trophic effect of nerve, nerve endings released certain substance, such affected metabolism activities of the supported tissues, cause them to undergo physiological, biological and even structure changes. Oxplasmic transport wires, originates and materials must be moved from the cell body. 
where they mate, to the axons and his terminals in order to maintain the structures and the functions of the cell axons. Trophic actions of the nerve to the target. The motor nerves released some substance that has trophic actions on the stacular muscles. The diverted muscles does not receive the nerve signals, and due to this, muscles atrophy begins. And third, after two months, the muscle fibers degenerated and denervation atrophy follows. Now, we will teach you some knowledge about the function of glial cells. Glial cells function as uh, the one supporting function, the two repairing and regenerating function. Neurons generally have no regeneration capability. Glial cell can be regenerated. The three immune response function. The fourth is material metabolism and the nutrition function. Fourth, insulation and the barrier function. The third, six, is stabilize the key concentration outside the cell. And the seven is uptake and secret neuron transmitter. Now we are talking about very important concept about synapses. Synapses is very special structure formed by the contact between the axons end of the neuron and the cell body, a protrusion of other neurons. It has junction. The junction of synapses is a special structure formed by contact between neurons and aphorator cells. According to the different media, synapses are divided into chemical synapses and non-directly synapses, and the last one is electrical synapses. The most important and basic way of contacting synaptic neurons. The structure of synapses is divided into presynaptic membranes, synaptic cleft, postsynaptic membranes. The chemical synapses is a specialized junction that transfers nerve impulse information from the presynaptic membranes to postsynaptic membranes using neurotransmitters and animesis. I will introduction some knowledge about the semantic transmission model. Now first some very important concept. Neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter is a communication while chemical intermediary called neurotransmitter released from one neuron and influenced another. Synaptic cleft is a very small gap between the ending and receiving sites. Polarization. Polarization is a contact, means communication occurs only one direction, from sending presynaptic site to receiving postsynaptic site. The nerve impulse is transmitted to the excess in terminal to depolarize the presynaptic membranes to the presynaptic membranes. CA channel opens. CA channel will influence into the presynaptic membranes. The transmitter is released to the synaptic cleft, spreads to the postsynaptic membranes, and the bleeding of specific receptors or chemical gated channels in the posterior membranes, changes in the permeability of posterior membranes to certain eyes. Certain changes, certain charging eyes enter the postsynaptic membranes, postsynaptic potentials. Then, at last, postsynaptic neuron excitement or inhibition. The chemical synaptics relies on the terminals 
of prismatic neurons to release special chemicals as a medium for transmitting information to affected postsynaptic neurons. The main difference from electronic synapses lies in the material released by the brain neurons. The electronic synapses relies on the bioelectronicity and eyes exchange of presynaptic nerve terminals to directly transmit information. Characteristic of chemical synaptic transmission. This is a very important idea of the whole lesson of this chapter. Please pay more attention to this. The characteristic of a chemical synaptic transmission is one-way transmission. Synaptic can only be transmitted from pre-synaptic dual neurons to post-synaptic neurons along axons. The third is a sum effect. Only when a series of implants are transmitted continually from the terminal of pre-synaptic neurons or a row of implants are transmitted from the terminal of many pre neurons at the same time. And the released chemical transmitted accumulated to a certain amount. Can the post neurons can be stimulated to produce action potential? And three, synaptic delay. Nerve impulses are transmitted from presynaptic terminals to post neurons. They must undergo the release and the diffusion of a chemical transmitter and their actions on the posterior membranes to cause the EPSP. After the sum total, the presynaptic neurons generated action potentials. The transmission, the characteristic that take a long time, is synaptic delay. According to measurements, the time for an implant to pass through a synaptic is about 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 ms. The fourth is changes in the excitement system. In the relaxed activities, if the implants frequencies of the dorsal root, afferent nerve, and abdomen root, afferent nerve are recorded separately at the same time, it can be found that the frequencies of the two are not the same because the excitement of the afferent nerve root not depend on the system of the afferent implants. It also depends on the functional state of the afferent neuron itself. The fifth is the sensitivity to internal and external environment changes. Hyplasia, rise and fall of pH, changes in eye concentration can change the transmission capability of synapses. Hepasia can make neurons and synapses lose the excitability, conduction disorder, and even neural death. Sensitivity to certain chemical system and fittage. Now next, we're talking about neurotransmitter. It refers to receptors that are synapses by presynaptic neurons and released at the terminals, diffusion through the synaptic cleft, and especially act on the postsynaptic neurons or effector cells, causing information to be transmitted from presynaptic to some postsynaptic chemicals. Receptor. Receptor refers to the special biological medullars that can specially bind to certain chemical substances and deduce biological effect in the cell membranes or cell. Transmitter and receptor binding characteristics, sensitivity, relativity, competitive inhibition. There are two types of postsynaptic potentials namely excitementary post-synaptic potentials and inhibitory 
slapstick's potentials. Now, we're first talking about EPSP. The definition of EPSP is postsynaptic membranes, undergoes a depolarization changes under the action of transmitter. This potentials is called EPSP. The potentials is called EPSP. Now next, we will talking about the mechanism of EPSP. The presynaptic membranes release the excitamentary transmitter. The transmitter binds to the receptors on the postsynaptic membranes. And then postsynaptic membranes have increased permeability to Na and K, especially Na. Na influenced postsynaptic membranes, local depolarization, then EPSP. The features of EPSP, it can be spread into the form of electric tension and it can be summed. If the multiple action potentials are transmitted continually from the same presynaptic terminals, or a row of action potentials are transmitted from multiple presynaptic terminals at the same time, the elementary presynaptic potentials can be superimposed to increase the potential amplitude. This process is called excitementary synaptic transmission. The second, the concept is IPSP. When inhibitory interneurons are excited, their terminals release inhibitory chemical transmitters. The transmitter deduced to the back memories and binds to the receptor on the back memories, which increase the permeability of the back memories to K, Cl, especially to Cl, K outflows and Cl inflows, so that increased polarization means hyperpolarization. This hyperpolarization potentials is called inhibitory postsynaptic potentials, IPSP. This process is called inhibitory synaptic transmission. Characteristics of synaptic transmission One-way transmission Synaptic delay Summation Changes in excitementary risk Sensitive to changes in internal environment Easy to fittage Characteristics of non-direction synaptic transmission There is no one-to-one -one correspondence between presynaptic and postsynaptic components, and there is no special structure of presynaptic membranes and posterior membranes. The site of action is scattered, and there is no special target. Transmitter spread far. Transmitter does not necessarily have effect. The mechanic of electronic stamps transmission. The transmission of electronic snaps is through an action of electricity. That is, when the action potentials of presynaptic neuron reach the nerve terminal, the action potentials of postsynaptic component is caused by the action of local current. When the impulse does not reach the presynaptic terminal, it has an ordinate electronic effect on the postsynaptic membrane, which increases the membrane's potentials of postsynaptic membranes and deduces his excitability. When the action potential is transmitted to the presynaptic terminal, the nerve terminal is negative, which acts as cathodic electrotation which deduce the membrane's potential of presynaptic membranes and increase excitability. When the excitability increased to a certain level, a nerve impulse is generated and spread with the local excite current. Okay, that's all. That's the end of chapter one. Thank you for your attention.